we're going to do our now sixth paper. I use the term we loosely because someone's just holding a camera and I'm doing all the work. Hey. But be that as it may, we're going to continue. So for those of you that live in areas that aren't desert, you would probably have a nice bed of dark dirt that you could just level out super easy. But here in Las Vegas, we have a bed of rocks. No matter where you dig, you can't stick your shovel in the ground. So as you see on the ground here, what we have are a bunch of little pebbles. And if you try to get all those pebbles out before you put your sand down, pretty soon you'll be three feet down into the dirt because they never end. So I like to get these basically sort of leveled out and then put a layer of sand on top and then level that out and then place the paper on top of it. I'm not gonna dig this whole area out and get a half a ton of sand to put in here. So we basically just use one bag of sand per paver and it's what we call good enough. So let's begin. Here's the leftover that we had from the last bag. this around a little bit before I try to tamp it down. And since these pavers are a little bit heavy because they're 15 by 30, what you can do is use a small stick to simulate the paver, which you can then put your level on to see how close you get it. Rather than repeatedly picking up and putting down your paper. So this will give you just a rough idea how close you are. And that's pretty darn close. Just needs to go down just a little bit on your right as viewed in the camera. And you can just put it right on the dirt for the other shots. So we need more here. More in both of those corners. test fit with the paver now that we have a ballpark estimate on our subsurface. If you'd like to make extra work for yourself, you can do the spacing between each of the blocks with a tape measure or just cut or use a scrap piece of wood that you may have and just lay it in here and just move the blocks until they, they're butted up against your spacer. That way you're not constantly using a tape measure. On a longer paver, do it once at one end and then once at the other end. So, so, make like sure you, so make sure you stay parallel. My assistant didn't quite clean all the rocks out of the middle. 
It was good enough for me. Good enough for government work. What are you on payroll? Okay, so we're spaced out and we are not quite lined up. We gotta come back this way just a little. That's gonna be the money. Now you also have to check the height of your pavers because like I said, excavating in Las Vegas is a pain. So you can just use a piece of wood and you can see that these are out. The one we just laid down is a little too high because again, my assistant didn't excavate down far enough. So what I like to do is rather than picking it up, re-excavating, trying to put everything back is I just use some regular old body weight and jump up and down on the thing to compact the sand until we get it where we want it. And it'll get close enough. Let him demonstrate. Allow me to demonstrate. Now we're still out a bit. We're still off by maybe a quarter of an inch, but it's not so much that I'm digging all this back up. So we'll just have to live with it. Because we didn't do this the textbook way of laying a long bed of sand and leveling we're just leveling this each one of these as we go we we'll just put a little extra sand or her on the sides to help keep it from shifting and then we'll put the rocks on top It'll help keep them from moving around and this particular walkway doesn't get much traffic so it's not a big deal Final step for this operation is just to put some of these lovely golden dirt brown rocks back around this thing to finish off the look and help hold everything in place. Here is a look at the finished product. As you can see, we have one more paver to go and then we'll be done. But we're very happy with it. It does take a lot of work, but you'll be glad you did it.